Bridge, a small town on the outskirts of London, where not a lot happens. It's known for many things, such as its university. That will change when a series of horrendous events took place in the heart of its city. We're here in the heart of Uxbridge, where we received several reports of a so-called reverse pickpocketer. As you can see around me, people are terrified to leave their homes. We now have one question, where will he strike next? This individual's cold-blooded actions has affected many lives. The public have started calling him the reverse pickpocketer. He seems to be placing random objects in people's pockets and we still don't understand why. It is estimated that 1 in 10 people have fallen victim to this tragic outburst of events. Terror has struck the hearts of the inhabitants of this town. And if the culprit isn't apprehended soon enough, we might have one of Britain's greatest unsolved cases on our hands. We've scheduled a meeting with the only eyewitness known to be involved in this case. Due to security reasons, we agreed not to disclose her identity, thus keeping her anonymous. So, tell me, what did you see that night? It was a regular Tuesday night. I was at karaoke with my friend Margaret. And we were sitting at this table and having fun. And then I look over to the other side of the room, right there. And I see the silhouette of a person that I've never seen before. And I see him reaching inside the pocket of a random girl and she doesn't notice him and I'm about to turn to Margaret to tell her what I saw when he vanishes and I I don't know I don't know where he went I just see the girl and she notices that there's something in her pocket and she takes out this sock and starts crying and that's when I knew that I'd seen the reverse pickpocketer. His attacks are swift yet ruthless and tend to leave his victims baffled and broken. I was just in a shop and this guy, well, I don't know, I didn't see him, but I just found my pocket and there's a bar of soap in my pocket. You have? I have the bar of soap. You have? This is all we need. We're going to take fingerprints and we'll find him in no time. So we send the evidence to our friends at the lab to see if they're able to string together the clues and get to the bottom of this. Okay, Dr. Romanov, what have you got for me? So, we've collected some DNA samples of the soap and we're still running the tests. So far, the results are inconclusive, but as soon as, as we get something, we'll be the first to know. Sadly, we found nothing, so the attacks continue. Anyone could fall victim. You might not even notice right away, but we can assure you the effects are devastating. It's a very personal story. Well, I'm, on, I'm on my way to the church, it's my wedding day. It's supposed to be the happiest day of my life. I'm just a few minutes walk away from the church. I'm in a great mood, the sun's shining, the birds are singing. But suddenly I notice presence in my pocket, a weight. And um, in my suit, I don't, I don't think anything of it. But then I put my hand and I feel, I feel this, 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 this wetness this warmth 
It's, it's mincemeat. There is mincemeat in my suit pocket. On the day of my wedding, there's mincemeat in my pocket. I don't, I don't know what kind of sick mind comes up with these sorts of things. I don't know if it's a joke, it's not funny. We cancelled the wedding. I was traumatised. I couldn't face these people. I still have weekly therapy. I still wake up at night drenched in sweat. Do you know what that's like? I just want to know who would do a thing like this. And despite all our efforts in this investigation, it seems like we might never catch the reverse pickpocketer, Ian Hargrave, Sky News. I have the receipt, it's got his name on it.